selalu movie-movie kata software engineer duduk dalam bilik and then buat kerja seorang-seorang kan kalau you tengok movie tapi is not <tune> Uh, nama saya uh, Dayang Nohayati Abang Jawawi. Uh, I'm from Faculty of Computing. Okay, this semester I'm teaching uh, real-time software engineering class uh, for final year student. Term kejuteraan perisian itu diperkenalkan pada tahun 1968 dalam satu persidangan NATO di Jerman. Jadi disebabkan dia satu kejuteraan baru. Jadi masa saya memilih program tersebut, saya diminta oleh uh, panel uh, 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 temu bual scholarship untuk mencuba satu kejuteraan baru. Jadi saya menyahut seruan mereka dan saya pilih kejuteraan perisian sebagai bidang saya untuk pengajian uh, uh, undergraduate. Software are responsible as a tools to help uh, people during COVID-19. And software also help in education and e-learning during COVID-19. With the advancement of software, we enable to proceed with teaching and learning during COVID-19. We can see how software can really help people in certain situation. Selalu movie-movie kata software engineer duduk dalam bilik and then buat kerja seorang-seorang kan kalau you tengok movie tapi it's not that's all about software engineering. If we talking about software engineering, kita membangunkan satu perisian yang besar and complex selalunya. And usually the team of software engineer are distributed around the world. For example, satu company have the requirement engineer team in US, the data center team in Malaysia and software engineer testing team in India. So, software engineering is a discipline that involves many different types of developer from different parts of the world. And also sometimes software engineer pun working with different engineer like mechanical engineer, electrical engineer, control engineer and different type of engineer. Uh, kalau kita tengok kebanyakan output penyelidikan dalam bidang software engineering di Malaysia ditulis oleh pensyarah-pensyarah dari UTM. Contohnya, kita ada 42 institution yang menyumbang kepada output publication di Malaysia dan 80% of the publication from UTM. Meaning that UTM mempunyai good research output in software engineering lah. So, saya rasa you should come to UTM to study software engineering. Join software engineering at UTM!